South Africa's University of the Witwatersrand, or WITS, has always been a politicised campus. It was a hotbed of student protest during the struggle against apartheid. When Nelson Mandela became president in 1994, I was a law student here. I wondered what WITS students make of this moment, 30 years on from South Africa's first free and democratic election. It remains really relevant to me because 30 years is not a long time. Like, it was only recently when we got the democracy that we have and the freedom for, of everybody to vote the way we have. I think it would be unreasonable to say there hasn't been progress because, for one, we have political rights, we can vote, we have freedom of speech, we can criticize our government as much as we want. I'm not going to come to you and say if you vote for this, if you remove the ANC from power, or if you do ABC, it's going to change overnight. No. South Africa is a mess. We're in a very deep hole. It's going to take a lot for us to take ourselves out of it. So it's very important to be hopeful but realistic at the same time. Essentially, I think that South Af um, democracy to South Africa was packaged nicely, put a ribbon on it, put Mandela on the face and threw it out there for black people. What we saw was an opportunity for change. We're still figuring out what works for us and what doesn't. So it becomes very hard to explain to a generation of people who were born born free, who were thrown into the system where we were told you have this right, you have that right, but not really told the responsibilities and not really uh, being able to hold their leaders accountable. To the essence of a democracy is changing of leadership. So to see how healthy our democracy is, I think this year will be important in that sense. I often say I'm the change I want to see, mm. and that begins with me. One dilemma with young people is that we vote and think that's where it ends. You don't inform yourself, you don't educate yourself about the state of the economy, about where we are currently standing, and how you can make that change and contribute to it. So I'm the change that I want to see is the power I hold in being a young person. I just got to university this year. I'm a first year. I'm now able to vote. So I think for me, my role as a student is to like, um, get everybody else who also just came here interested in making a difference. I love to say that one drop of water in the ocean means nothing, but 27 million? That holds some weight. So if 27 million voices agree to collectively make change. The voices could, of the youth. The voices of the youth. We could do more in five years than has happened in 30 years and that is that I can tell you. Guys, I'm so grateful to you for sharing these valuable insights into the state of South Africa and the future as you see it and in this beautiful setting, Wits University, your university, my university too. Thank you for speaking to Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.